You're going to borrow the, the spoons off the table, the rings from the spectator. This is the way the script goes, or the patter, as it were. Here's a little something with a stress test to see which can take more stress. Either the ring, the spoon, or you, sir, i.e. the individual I just borrowed the ring from. Um, let's see which can take more stress. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. When people see me hold a spoon like this, they think I'm the sort of guy that with my mind can bend on because I can't bend. I, well, some, sometimes I guess I can bend on this. Hold on a second. I'm going to try to bring the two together. We hold the ring in my left hand, the spoon in my right. Now watch. I could put the ring on top, but that's cheating. So instead, I'm simply going to hold the ring in one hand, the spoon in the other, and bring the two together. You can see the ring is solved, the spoon is solved. I asked the person to hold their hand. No, actually hold your other hand. I'm going to try to pull the spoon through, extend the ring to them. They grab a hold of it, and one, two, I pull the ring through the bowl of the spoon, which we all admit is pretty hard to swallow. But watch. If I just take the key and give it a gentle little tug, it melts right off. And now, if I just take the string, the key melts right back on to the string. They call stop, and of course I force that card. They call stop again, and again I force that bottom card. Finally, again, I'm doing the Wichita slip so they never see the backs of any of them, boom, like that. Uh, then later on, so of course, when they, I say, hey, I knew you picked those cards. I knew it. I, I could tell. Pretty good trick, huh? No, no, I knew it really, because if you see right here, it's got pick these cards right there. 